Don't you like Monty, Dad? Well, he's sick, Timmy. Look at his tongue. It's blue. <laughs> That's because he drank out of the toilet. <laughs> Look, it's just that when I was a boy, I had a dog. Every morning, he'd lick my face before I went to school. One day, I was in a hurry and left before he licked me. He died that afternoon. I can't go through that again. Um, uh, but, Dad, with the men of beef you, you'll be dead long before Monty. Oh. Well, he has a point, dear, and you almost never exercise. Then the German Shepherd licks Jackie's face, melting his heart. <laughs> Set another place at the table. We got ourselves a dog. Oh, yeah. great. Cut! And we're out. <laughs> Jerry, on behalf of the network, I love the idea of adding a dog to the show. It's brilliant. Call me a visionary. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful job today, Jackie. How do you do it? Well, it's easy when everyone around me sucks. <laughs> Meeting you now. Did, did you mean um, uh, us you or, or you you? Us you. We <sighs> <Really>. we. <laughs> deliberately stole every scene from me out there. <laughs> and why are we using a dog from Germany anyway? You're putting an American dog out of work. <laughs> Open that. Yes, sir. Jack, this episode revolves around the dog, and we shoot the episode in three days. If you're worried about hurting the dog's feelings, I'll fire myself. If you're going to do a story about a pet, do it about an ugly pet, you know, like a turtle or something. <laughs> Boy, it is such an honor for me to, to bask in the glow of your comedy genius, Jackie. I, I'm positively tanned. <laughs> Dogs out, turtles in. All right, let me see if I got this straight. A turtle follows Timmy home from school one day. <laughs> and when Helen starts letting the turtle sleep in their bed, Jackie gets upset and he lets the turtle run away. <laughs> and the family's distraught but they finally find it at the turtle pound, and then they bring it home. <laughs> and then that night, a pile of rags catches fire in the garage, but the turtle runs through the house, yipping, waking everybody up. <laughs> puts the fire out. Is that right? Is that what you're telling me? It's great. <laughs> but make it an American turtle. Oh, you're joking, right? <laughs> Doug, back me up on this. You're joking, right? <laughs> hey, if you don't like it, we'll do another script. What script? We, we don't have any other scripts. Well then, duh, I guess you're gonna have to write another one, Jerry. But, but that'll take all night. All right. Come in an hour later tomorrow. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna take a short lunch. <laughs> Fuck. I don't get it. The script was good, wasn't it? Uh, I guess he's afraid the dog will outact him. Yeah, well, most mammals can. <laughs> Even the turtle might give him a run for his money. <laughs> Did you try to reason with Jackie? Of course. Well, that was your mistake. You should have distracted him with a new toy. Mm. <laughs> well, anyway, we're gonna have to rewrite the whole script. Oh. Sorry. Plan on being here all night. Wait, maybe we should reconsider this turtle thing, huh? Uh, Jerry, I cannot work tonight. I teach my comedy class on Tuesdays. Tonight we're doing toppers. Oh, that's a joke that tops the one that came before it? Or any joke that follows one of Nancy. <laughs> I'm sorry, look, I'm, I'm going to need all my writers here tonight. You too, Laura. Uh, actually, I was going to go out for an hour or so. I have to go to the dentist. Oh, nice try, Laura. We know your dentist is your boyfriend. <laughs> well, look, if it's a dental problem, go. But if it's a boyfriend problem, stay. Actually, it's a, it's a little of both. All right, well, go ahead, but hurry back. Oh, no, wait a minute. 
Danny, you can't let Laura go. That's not fair. Not fair? Is it fair that I work the same lousy hours as you do for one-tenth the salary? Can't you be happy for us? <laughs> So we put a bomb in Jackie's Rolls Royce, and when he's halfway home to Malibu, boom! <laughs> he's shredded pork. <laughs> but we have to make it look like an accident. Mm. Guys, we can't spend all night plotting Jackie's murder. <laughs> all right, five more minutes. <laughs> I don't hear laughing. <laughs> Welcome, Doug. Come and get anything. A wonton, an egg roll, a backbone. <laughs> I deserve that. I mean, <laughs> I knew you guys were in a tough spot. I came over to see if I could help. Well, this afternoon is when I could have used your help. Why, did, why didn't you back me up in there? His lips were glued to Jackie's butt. <laughs> well, if you really want to help, we still got to come up with an idea for a story. <laughs> I got it! I got it! What if? The entire family gets trapped in Jackie's meat locker. Could that happen? Sure it can happen. I've seen it on at least a dozen shows. <laughs> okay. Okay. How about this? A, a funny funny thing happened when our nanny who was taking my daughter Previa <laughs> to, to her first day of school okay <gasps> oh <laughs> she thought <laughs> that private school <laughs> meant that she would be the only child there <laughs> Uh, yeah, all this missing is a plot. <laughs> well, fine. If you don't want my help, hey, I'll leave. <laughs> and when exactly would that be? <laughs> you know, I don't need your respect and uh, love there, Jocko. I have got a beautiful wife and child who love me. According to our nanny. <laughs> oh. Hello. Are you all right? You've been gone about three and a half hours. Can you find a nice cavity to fill? Shut up, Bobby. <laughs> Everything is fine, and I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Actually, we, uh, we've been making some good progress. Nancy came up with a very, a very good idea about Chaz buying a used car, and then he thinks he pulled the fast one on the seller. Oh, but it turns out that the registration hasn't been paid for years, and Chaz is the one who really gets screwed. Yeah, how'd you know that? Because it was on a rerun of Family Ties last night. <laughs> now we're gonna have to come up with a whole new idea. God. Any suggestions? Watch anything else last night? <laughs> It it's will work. work. It works. It's, it work. it's classic. I'm telling it's you, it's classic. classic. It'll bounce. Five bucks says it'll break. <laughs> go double or nothing with Nancy. <laughs> so, are you naked? Are you touching yours? <laughs> so am I. Jerry, I was thinking... What? <laughs> Jerry, what is the matter with you? Snapping at Grant. Sweet, innocent Grant. Yeah. He never lied to a woman he supposedly loves. <laughs> Are you all right, Laura? Yes, now drop it. 
I'm very sorry, Grant. Now, what were you going to say? This. What's happened to us right now? Yeah. You know, when people are cooped up together for a long time, their emotions tend to run a little higher. So, what if the family's trapped in the basement because of a tornado? Oh, now, hold on just a second here. That sounds suspiciously like my trapped in a meat locker idea. Yes, but this isn't nearly as contrived. See, this way we can explore shades of our characters. Their hopes, yeah. their aspirations. Their frustrations, their angers, their dreams dashed on the rocks of selfishness. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, thinking out loud. All right, now, I, I, I think we've got something here. Let's, let's try to stay focused. Basement. Oh, tornado. Basement. Tornado. Claustrophobia. Holy crap! <laughs> what are you guys doing here? You made us be here. Remember, I told you it would take all night. You were serious? <laughs> Hell, even I don't care that much about the show. <laughs> oh, party! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I bring my dates over here. Ever since I slept with my maid, she gets a little freaky when I bring them other chicks. <laughs> You've been doing it on my couch? Hell no. I've been doing it on the table. <laughs> she likes the hard surfaces, and I like to keep my eye on my car. Okay, look, 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 we have a ton of work to do tonight. Jerry, we're only going to be in here for a couple hours. Pretty impressive, huh? Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Can't you run a hotel? So we've been in here before. Hey, 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 guys, come on now. We're like a team. And this is the big game, you know? And it's fourth down, bottom of the ninth, last frame, sudden death. And we need some jokes. Can you let us know when you're through? Yeah, give us a little signal or something. All right, I'll shut off the lights and lower the blinds. Now get out of here. <laughs> But you are wrong. Oh, fine. Okay, let's just put it to a vote. How many people think we need a semicolon here? <laughs> Comma? <laughs> Guys, can we get past this? We still have a second act left to write. What is your vote? Semicolon. Ah! Suck up. Ah! <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so, so they're down in the basement. We got, the tornado is swirling around outside. What are they going to talk about? Well, maybe they can talk about the time they got trapped in a meat locker. <laughs> Jackie could start having a midlife crisis and regret not having done more with his life, like go after a dream that he once had. Like what? Like what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know what? Back in Iowa, Jackie used to talk about becoming a rodeo clown. Get out of here. Seriously. He thought women went for rodeo clowns. <laughs> you know, for pimply guys, it's the only way to go. Well, wait a minute. We could establish in the show that Helen got pregnant just as Jackie was going off to clown college. Huh, Jackie could freak. How can I concentrate on my studies knowing you got a clown in the oven? <laughs> No, I think a lot, of, a lot of people can relate to that, giving up a dream and having to raise a family instead. Now, wait a minute. I, having kids did not stop my career. Nancy, they're not your kids, they're your stepkids, and two of them are older than you are. <laughs> How does this relate to Jackie's character? I mean, he already has a family. Well, maybe he thinks he'd be better off without a family. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he has a dream that he was single and he sees how much worse off he would have been. Well, Laura, you're without child. How does it feel? <laughs> Dave and I have dogs. That's enough for us. <laughs> it's hardly the same thing. Well, at least they're my dogs, Nancy, not my stepdogs. <laughs> Grant, Grant, what about you? I'm allergic to dogs. No. You, you, you can relate to not having a family. Uh, I have a family. I'm the kid. I'm only 22. Give me a break. <laughs> no, I live with a bunch of other comics. I mean, we're like a family. <clears throat> family that throws up a lot, but <laughs> look, I don't talk to my real family much, you know. I mean, they live back in... Oh, well, Jerry, you're the one who's really on a collision course with loneliness here. How does it feel? Oh, I could have a family if I want. Well, possibly, but you know, you haven't even been with a woman in two years. You gotta crawl before you can walk. And sometimes you gotta beg, too. There was this kid in my high school whose dad was 60. It was so pathetic watching them play catch. No, oh, okay. Oh, now, Jerry, don't worry about that. My husband is 60, and he is just fine. 
Of course, he was in better shape than you when he was your age. <laughs> Sorry, Skipper. I'm guessing that your ship has sailed. <laughs> I think they're closing. Iowa. <laughs> wasted my entire life. No, you haven't, Jerry. I mean, so you haven't brought kids into the world. No big deal. You have made millions of people laugh. Well, maybe not out loud, but surely on the inside. Nancy, you're up in a guy who hasn't had sex in two years. Point him the other way. <laughs> How pathetic. How pathetic. I, I, I promised my ex-wife that once my career started going, we'd start a family. And once it did, I just kept making excuses, well, making well, excuses. Stop making excuses. You're not old. Decide what you want to do and get on with it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great line for Jackie's wife. Or a bumper sticker. What do you know, a writer? No, no, no. I like it. I like it. Helen could tell Jackie to stop moping around about lost opportunities and to go to Rodeo Clown College now to see if it's something he really wants to do. That's gold. Somebody write it up. I'll see you at noon. <laughs> what do you think, Jerry? You don't think it's too late? No. No, no, no. I, I mean for Jackie to go to clown college. No, it's never too late to do something that you really, really want to do. I mean... <laughs> Jackie? What the hell are you people doing to my house? <laughs> it's the set. You kicked us out of the office, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. Broke your table, too. <laughs> Sorry. What happened to your signal? What signal? Yeah, you were supposed to signal us when you were through. I scored. <laughs> There's your signal. <laughs> Anyways, we're over in the bedroom set if you guys need us. Uh, well, you we, we might as well head back to the office. Let's go. Hey, anybody know how to operate one of these babies? <laughs> Come on, Jerry, don't fade on me now. Come up, come up, come up. Where am I? Uh, Rodeo Clown College. I think of a reason why Jackie doesn't stay there. He doesn't get along with the other clowns? <laughs> you can't find a shoe size big enough? Come on, a serious reason, please. Uh, guilt on leaving his loved ones behind? Oh, why should he feel guilty? He's been supporting them for all these years. If he had any guts at all, he'd just tell Dave off and go. Dave? What? You said Dave. I said Helen. No, you didn't. You said Dave. I would never have said Dave. No, you did. You said Dave. You said Dave. Now, would you tell me already, what did Dave do? Dave doesn't want to be a dentist anymore. That's what Dave did. And that's bad? It is if you're the one who put Dave through dental school. <laughs> well, what does Dave want to do? Dave wants to be a professional bowler. <laughs> you're kidding. I and mean, that was part of our deal, was that once he got out of dental school, that he would support me while I pursued my dream. Which is? Don't laugh. No, only if it involves team sports. <laughs> I don't want to be a writer's assistant my whole life. I want to be a writer-writer. Well, so what's stopping you? If you really want to be a writer, just write. Does this look odd to you? Five is normal, right? <laughs> I just, I don't think I can take the pressure oh, of being a writer. I really don't. Oh, come on. You put a bowler through dental school and you put up a Jackie for two years. You can surely handle this. <laughs> I'm scared. And what if I try and I, and I fail? I, I'd lose my dream. I'd be devastated. Oh, come on, Laura. There's nothing to be afraid of. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is it. Jackie's afraid. Jackie's leaving clown college because he's afraid. A failure? No, of bulls. <laughs> oh, you know, if you really want to be a writer, I'll, I'll help you write. You will? Sure. Why? So you and Dave don't have to fight anymore. 
If that's what you want, right? I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> There's something strange here, Jerry. This doesn't even seem like a Jackie Thomas script. It's almost good. Thank you. Hey, anybody catch Tipper's last name? She stole my car. Where the hell is everybody? They're home sleeping. We finished up about an hour ago. Finished what? The script you had us rewrite, remember? They're printing it up right now. Hey, I was thinking, maybe we could do the dog show. <laughs> what? But we do the whole episode from the dog's point of view. That way we never actually have to see the dog. Wait, Jackie, Jackie. This, this one actually turned out a lot better. It, it's all about some choices you've made in your life. It's, it's terrific. Buddy, we'll do that sometime. Maybe not this season, but sometime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My dog idea is going to take a lot of rewriting, so everybody back here in a half hour, and don't make any plans for tonight. <laughs> going to get the door for me, Jerry? <laughs> school burned down, so they sent all the clouds home. Jack, you're the truth. Now, it cost a lot to send you off on this little fantasy of yours. <laughs> okay, confession. See, I, I'd never actually seen a live bull up close. The ones I get in the shop don't have any heads or arms or legs, and they're cut in half, but all put together, you know, those mamas are big. <laughs> Dad, you chickened out? No, son. My first day there, I got in the arena, and I faced my bull eye to eye. And then I sort of panicked, and next thing I knew, I'd pump five shotgun shells into his head. <laughs> anyway, help me cut him off the roof of the car, son. <laughs> Tell the truth. Are you really afraid of bulls? <laughs> yes, honey. But I'm a lot more afraid of losing you guys. Oh, Jackie! <laughs> He is so funny. How does he do it week after week? He makes it up as he goes along.